Well, you know, part of the it's, it's a messaging bill to reset the conversation. We've got to have accountability on these college campuses. I mean, honestly, you're not you're not really expecting any students to go to Gaza, are you? Oh, of course not. And, no, and nor would they. Right. Uh, but look. Uh, we've okay. got to have accountability. We've got to have the, the, this messaging bill to, to send, send a, you know, set the record straight. You can't let, do this. Let me, you can't let me have set the this. record straight. I thought the Republican Party was the party of free speech. I thought they were the party of free speech. How then, if you are the party of free speech, are you calling protesting students illegal? Uh, I've seen the footage. You've seen footage of shredded children's bodies. And that's my taxpayer dollars. I, going to, you know what? Going to bomb those kids. So I think we should kill them all. If that makes you feel better, everybody, come on. Yes. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech, no matter what the speech is. It sounds terrible. I mean, you might want to cover your kids' ears, but it's still freedom of speech. I don't believe there's anything as hate speech. It's all under interpretation. You know, people interpret how they want, and they can interpret whatever they want. So they can change anything to hate speech. You know, if I say I want to step on a grasshopper, it can be considered hate speech. It all depends on the person. And I believe we should have the freedom to say whatever we want. If we hurt somebody's feelings, oh, well, sticks and stones may break my bones, but, you know, words will never hurt me. I think there's free speech. I think hate speech is just a term they, they dreamed up to uh, keep other people from talking, saying what's on their mind for the most part. Sure, things get a little overboard, but they always have. And if people can't speak their mind, how are you going to know what people think and what they want? And it's just ridiculous, all this hate speech talk. its I don't like it at all. If people are trying to destroy other people, you got to stand up. And that's what they say. Anytime you stand up, we're the bad guys. Because we say, hey, you can't do that. So that's, that's, they'll call that hate speech. It's so twisted. It's so soft. It's so, I mean, when Obama was in there, everybody was like, okay, we can't, we're more locked down too. When Trump got in, the, the patriots felt like we can breathe. Are there any Democratic patriots? I tell you what, I would like to meet one. I, I, probably the last one I know of is uh, Jack Kennedy. I mean, that's he. Th listen, when the when the platform, the Democratic platform threw God out, that's that's what we got the freedom. When, first thing they did when they came across, they bent their knee to God because they were tired of being had had tyranny. That's what this country's built on. What do you think of what Tucker Carlson said the other day? There's no such thing as hate speech. No, I think people just get offended really easy now. And when CRT and, you know, all the racism, Black Lives Matter and everything was pushed, you know, it took on a whole new definition of what hate speech actually is. How are you calling people anti-American? You want to know what's anti-American, Andy? I'll tell you what's anti-American. The fact that you lied on your taxes, or I should say your FEC forms, saying that you loaned your campaign $320,000 when you did not. When you did not, you've been lying for two years to the feds about your money. Why is that not an un American when you're getting a federal taxpayer dollar? You get checks from taxpayers. That seems un American to me. The fact that you are willing to lie about your money lets me know that you're willing to lie about anything. You know nothing about what it means to be American, you know nothing about what it means to be patriotic as you steal and lie about monies, donations to your campaign. $20,000 is what you loan your campaign, not $320,000. 11 amendments you've made, you made those amendments because you lied and you got caught. And if you wouldn't have got caught, you wouldn't have made those amendments. That, to me, my friend, is unpatriotic. Stop with all this fake patriotism and be honest. You care about one thing and one thing only. Power. That's it. Power. That's your entire party is locked in on power. Everybody in Tennessee should see right through you and send you home by acting like a Southern version of George Santos. You, sir, are despicable and you are the clown of the day. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be a clown.